Today we're right outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at Kennywood Park. Uh, we're here for the Phantom Fall Fest. What do you think about that, Bobby? I'm excited. I'm ready to check out some food, some rides, and some scares. All right, so let's go check it out. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Okay, guys, let's take a ride on one of the old wooden coasters called the Jackrabbit here at Kennywood. This one's been around for a long time. Something new this year for the kids is this Villa of the Vampire, which is a haunted attraction. Right now, it's trick-or-treating for the kids. So they're gonna be open in the daytime, so little kids can come and enjoy this. It's pretty nice, isn't it, Bobby? It's only today, though. Yeah, today and, uh, but yesterday, Saturday, yeah, two days. Two days, it's not every weekend. No. The old mill. There for a while this was Garfield's nightmare. Now they turned it back into a old like dark ride. We're gonna take you guys in it. I used to go in this all the time years ago when it was a bunch of skeletons. I hated when they changed it, but at least now they changed it back. This will be the first time we've been in it since. All right guys, get ready to take off. Let's look at Bobby over here. Bobby, are you scared no, or I'm not scared? I like this one. coming at you. Got little spiders on the walls and the ceiling. 
See that? Bills hanging out of the Let me reach up there and grab one. Let's if I can oh, get this. I don't think they're real. There's those coyotes again. Look at these guys. Play the piano. And get your dancer up there. Oh, he's trying to get there. He's almost done. Almost. They got him. Back out. The crowd's getting a little more now than what it was, huh? Yeah, it's getting busy now. Here's one of the scare zones for tonight. Clowns. We Fear clowns. Fest. We do. Let's take a look. We see it better probably in the daytime. Look at the cotton candy. Is that what that is? Cotton candy and ice cream. Look at that. Some balloons. Bobby wanted to buy a set of balloons like this for our house one time, remember? Oh, they're really expensive. What were they? Oh, two or three hundred dollars. So we'll come in here tonight when it's dark and see all this stuff. There's a merry-go-round. Johnny Rockets. I don't think we'll be eating there, but have to ride that old classic merry-go-round here in a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go ride it now. Baseball action going on here at Kennywood. Got some fans out there watching right there. Batter, got outfielders. Very nice park. Wanted to try this Steeler roller coaster. Steel curtain, I think it's called. Not running today. Big. Another nice display. Got some skeletons laying in there they didn't bury them love that hearse doesn't that look neat yeah, it's like a phantom driver. yeah bobby was eyeballing the eyeball cupcakes yeah i think i'm gonna get one of those I got an neat. apple pie and i think that's pumpkin flavored yeah. cheesecake yeah and then triple chocolate and like got these like a little tombstone in the background. First purchase of the day. The eyeball. That was four twenty nine. Yeah. So you got vanilla icing, raspberry drizzle, and the eyeball. The eyeball. All right. That's fine. Don't put it on me. See that. I'm gonna try some of this. The raspberry. Raspberry's good flavor. It's like a buttercream icing. It's a good cupcake. It's got a blue eyeball. Who's gonna eat that? I don't know. Let's see if I can get a piece from this side. It's not a real moist cupcake. No. But it's not bad. Maybe like a day old cupcake. Yeah, I'd say it wasn't made today. It's not fresh. The icing's but it's good. Still, it's still good. Icing's good. All right, we made it to the eyeball. Well, it's Halloween time, so you gotta eat an eyeball. <laughs> it's a, a gummy. Yep, that's an eyeball. <laughs> 
So this restaurant now used to be Mortem Manor. They kicked them out. Look, Bobby, they're on the street this year. It's just gonna be a walkthrough tonight. There's their library. They got their chairs, poor guys. Piano. So we'll come back tonight and hopefully see some ghosts in here, huh? These poor souls cannot even get any privacy, especially that guy. Wow. I definitely do not want to wash my hands in that sink. About ready to head into one of Kennywood's most classic rides, Noah's Ark. Well, let's go check this place out. Thanks. Good view from up here, huh, Bobby? Yeah. All right, let's head in. Boat is rocking. There's no. Potato patch fries. This thing's won a number of awards being voted the best french fries in any amusement park and last night i looked up on the internet and it was uh rank number eight as the best fries in the whole united states all together at any place you could get fries so let's go up here and see if we can see the menu okay. 7.69 for potatoes if you want the bacon cheddar fries 9.99 there are all your toppings. So we're gonna definitely get it with bacon and cheddar fries. There are the famous Kennywood fries. A little bacon, real bacon on there and great cheese. How's it look, Bobby? Good. It smells good. All right, you want to try it first? Or want me to? I will try these guys. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's look. I used to just pick them up. Kind of messy. Falling apart. Abundance of cheese and bacon on it. Here we go. Those are so good. Now the fries aren't real crisp, but this cheese, whatever it is, is excellent. And the bacon just adds to it. Let's get another one for you. So you guys see it. So these are voted, you said before, eight best fries in the whole United States. You guys wish you were here. Go ahead. Don't you wish you were here to take a bite of that? I'll do it for you. They're hot. But as you can see, I mean, these fries aren't, they're not real crisp. But they're good. They don't have to be crisp to be and good. It looks like they keep the skins on them too, I think. Uh -huh. Bacon's excellent. Definitely something, you, you come to Kennywood, you definitely have to get these. Oh yeah, it's not even running. They are doing construction. Looks like they've been doing it a long time. That guy's kind of skinny. Must not take a lot of breaks. We're gonna go try this out though. Ghostly Estates. You like this one, don't you? All right, let's go check it out. Hey, Bobby, let's see your gun. My gun. So I'm not gonna shoot. I'm just gonna show you guys what's in here. Let's go. A 
lot of stuff to see in here too, Bobby. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm taking it all in. You gotta shoot them to get them to move for us. Bookcase falling on us. Look at that guy. What's the hearse do? Oh, there's a dead guy in it. Guys, we're headed down here to get some deep fried Oreos. Because I read online last night that this is the number one rated food at any amusement park. So, right there it is. Kennywood's deep fried Oreos. Number one in the country on anything else you can get. That's hard to believe, huh, Bobby? Now, we've had Oreos. Yeah, we've had Oreos all over the place. I don't think we ever had them here. So, we're going to go right there. Just look and try them. Here's what we're gonna get. Batter dip Oreo cookies, $6.99. There's some classic funnel cake, pumpkin spice and funnel cake supreme. Now the Oreo cookies are batter dipped with funnel cake. Well, Bobby just picked up the goodness. They look good, huh? They do. Deep fried Oreos. Got powdered sugar on there. Uh, it looks appetizing. Five of them for $6.99. See the insides of those. Look melted nice. Yeah, I like it because it's melted, all that chocolate Oreo in there. That's delicious. You like that? Mm hmm. Take a look again at them. We didn't get pumpkin. No. I'm going to get this all over this black sweatshirt. That does look so cool. Those are light. Way hard to eat that. A lot of chocolate in there. Mm. Mm. It's got a nice flavor. It does. That funnel cake batter. I mean, that tastes excellent. It's that melted cream that you always take the two pieces apart and eat one more. Powdered sugar. Mm. Lots of sweetness going on wow. there. There you go, guys. This bite is for you. And we were strolling along and just ran into the characters from Nightmare Before Christmas. I think they'd be at Disney World instead of Pittsburgh, but that's all right. We'll take them up here. Not to be mistaken with the pink one. Today is Kids cat. Day here at Kennywood. We have so another having a costume Spider contest. And what are you dressed as today? I am the rake. The rake. Oh, Some nice ones out there. I like the dinosaur. Scary. And then really again like from one. Halo, right we have here. that character. Pee Wee Herman. Thank you. All right, a lot of we nice have the there. dragon from Minecraft. We just picked out some Salisbury steak, mashed potatoes, green beans. You got a plenty of what onions and mushrooms on yeah, that too. Of that. And what you got to drink? Hot apple cider. Hot apple cider was five dollars and twenty nine cents. Five twenty nine for apple this cider. Was 11. So I'm gonna try the apple cider because it's really kind of chilly today. And it's fifty some degrees here. Yeah, you want to get that on a cold day. Like apple cider. Tastes, tastes mm -hmm. good. Okay, now you like 
mushrooms yeah, and onions. There is meat down. <laughs> it's fine to meat. Let's there. see them. There it is. There it is. It's way down. Man, there. they loaded you up with they the did. onions. Did you get me a? You didn't get a knife. Did not get a knife. Okay. Didn't think about it. All right. I'll try to cut it. I think I might need a knife. Well, I can go back and get one. There we go. I got a piece. There it is. Pops with lots of onions and mushrooms. You need to try it with all that. Gravy's really good on there. They just brought this out so it's fresh. Yeah, and there's a lot of gravy. I mean, it went everywhere. Take a bite with this all is a this real stuff. Thin piece. It's Let's thin. See. It is thin. And let me see. I am a fan of mushrooms. Yeah. Y'all don't have to pick this off. Yeah. What'd you think? I say this. It's not bad. Not bad for carnival amusement park food. No. How's the mashed potatoes? Probably, they're not probably. They're fluffy, either. but they're a little bit cool, cold. Oh, okay, yeah, they've been, they've been sitting. Yeah, it's not real busy today, so I don't think the food's moving as quick. But it's not bad. And try the green beans. They were down at the bottom, so I, yeah. at the bowl, so I bet you those aren't real hot either. They probably aren't. Yeah, they're actually cold. They're cold? Mm -hmm. Of our first haunt of tonight, the Villa of the Vampire. What did you think about it, Bob? It was pretty creepy. It was really dark in there, Real so it's hard to see at times. Sometimes people like just came up and like growled like, up on my ear. They were kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, you walked down an aisle with a bunch of coffins, had some midnight syndicate playing in there, which we love. And it was, like she said, almost too dark. You couldn't hardly see some of the actors. I mean, even stumbled upon them. Yeah. They were just in there. But it's pretty good. Good uh, experience and uh, looking forward to going to do some more of
It's back in here. I like your face. I want to cut it off hanging on my wall next to my mother. Do you think you can, like, you think you can just leave Hillbilly Hollow when I haven't even had dinner yet? You better not be crying. That spoils the meat. You're letting dinner get away again. Oh, it's just so quick sometimes. I ain't old, as young as I used to be. Man, I hate you, man. Oh, that's the Spin the wheel. What happens to me? Scalped. <laughs> Not good. Get ready to exit. I got a last few scares for us. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building.